Welcome to Trimble Business Center Area Photogrammetric Module. What's new in 590? With Trimble Business Center Area Photogrammetry 590, you can define a processing folder where all the temporary files are stored during the deliverables process. This can be very helpful when you run large projects and you use the digital surface model process, which is now with version 590 using the semi-global matching technology that was previously under DSM HQ. The semi-global matching creates high precision and dense point clouds in combination with true auto mosaic creation. So the method runs many internal processing steps, storing them in temporary folders, which can become very large. Trimble Business Center 590 can now set the processing folder for your computer, allowing you to define a storage location with enough disk space and a fast read-write possibility. As an example, we will take a look at a DJI Mavic 2 dataset. To speed up the video, we will fast forward through the image orientation process and then show where you can set the processing folder. So here we go. For this data set, we also used the new set GNSS height function, which is covered in a different video in detail. So our images are now well oriented and we can start to create our deliverables. Trimble Business Center Photogrammetry normally stores your <coughs> processing uh, files in the user profile folder and if you want to change this this is now here possible in the advanced options as I did already change this in my previous project this uh, processing working folder stays always on this machine so it's not related to a project but in general set now for this machine always to be processed in this location. The advantage is you can now have a large storage disk where you have a good and fast read and write access and then always define this as your working folder. This gives you the flexibility in case you have for example a C drive where you have only a small amount of data storage um, to have an additional either of course SSD drive or a fast eSATA drive or a RAID system and then define your processing working folder on this fast and large device. Trimble Business Center runs the first time you open the create deliverables um, data source check and if this folder does not exist, it would then give you a warning. You can also reset uh, this working folder to the default by using here this green button, and then it will choose your user profile folder, which is by default set. Of course, you could also define this working folder where your current project is, but please don't forget it will not change this folder for the next project and adapt the folder path. This is really a working folder in general. And of course, this is not the output folder, which you can define still as always here in this area. This is where your point cloud and your autophoto will end up. This is for the temp files that are used during the deliverable process. And as mentioned at the beginning of this video, 
mainly when you run digital surface model, of course on high, this will be then the largest amount of data that is generated, which can be uh, multiple times of your input data, so 2 to 10 to 20 times larger than your raw data. A data storage check is also done in this process, so that means even if you define your working folder yourself and you start to create the process, then at the beginning we will then calculate the approximate amount of storage needed, look at this working folder, how much space is available, and if this one does not give you enough space, of course also here we will then stop the process and give a warning and error message. The working folder of course also is used for digital terrain model and also all the other deliverables will use here this working folder if they need to store temporary folders in between here. So you can just choose here your destiny working folder, make your choices in this case for processing and then hit the create button for time issues. I will use here now a low quality and also a low autophoto result just to show then the temp folder structure that is defined. Hit the create button and then our process starts and will now store in this working folder its temporary files. So here we go, there is now here this folder and then the temporary folder typically always has a US box folder and in the US box folder you can now see the temp files here written. So at the moment we are in the point cloud generation and then when the point cloud generation is done then the autophoto processing and tiling will also be uh, started and these files will then be added here into this structure. So here we go, our data has been generated and we see now the full uh, temp folders and files. When we will now close this project, open a second new project, a different one, then again in this new project this processing work folder in the deliverables will be the same and it would override this data here. So first there will be a cleanup, these files will be removed and then from the new project again the new temp files will be written into this working folder. So in case you want to keep your log files then again you would need here to copy them out of this working folder before you start your next project. In this video we focused mainly on the deliverables because here the largest amount of data is created. But of course now having this working folder here set, this is also used for the adjust photo stations process step and also for the adjust photo stations with ground control points step. Which means if you would run the adjust photo stations for the next project, then already in this step all these files and folders would be deleted and the new files from this adjustment process will be placed into this part. And again with the next step, so if you would run after the adjust photo stations, the adjust photo stations with ground control points, then again these files and folders would be deleted and the new ones would be added and if you then run the create deliverables, then again the files and folders from the adjust photo stations or if you used adjust photo stations with ground control points would also be eliminated and the new files would be then written into this working folder. We hope this tool helps you now to run with um, data sets that need more storage place and also that you can choose your storage area where you want to write your temp folders. Have a nice day and goodbye.